Hello, and thank you for signing up for our first World Ninja League competition of the season. We'll be going over the teens and young adults' roles for our course. Obstacle number one, hands and feet. You're going to run up the wall, touch the top of the 10-foot wall, coming back down. You are to stay on the warp wall. It is your starting platform for the next obstacle. Obstacle two, hands and feet are allowed. You have the quad steps only. Only the black part of the quad steps and your finished platform is a spillover. Obstacle number three, the plow box is your start. This is a hands-only obstacle. This is our cliff swing lane. No topping on the obstacles in your finished platform are either one or both of the big fluffy mats. Obstacle number four is feet only. Your starting platform is the booster block. You have the pipe to use to go across the floor. Your finished platform is the other rectangular booster block. Do not spill over as it's your starting platform for the next obstacle. Number five, you have the trampoline to use, and this is a rope swing. You can use hands or feet on these rope. Finished platform is the booster block, and you are allowed to spill over, which leads you into obstacle number six. The red platform is your starting platform. You have the cliffhangers to use. Your finished platform is the plyo box in the corner. Make sure that you are landing and passing the plane for the finished platform. Obstacle number seven and eight are connected. Your starting platform was the finished platform of the previous obstacle. You have the bars to use. You have the ring on the second bar only, so no bar here, and then you have the bar on the bottom row. Once you reach outside to the cliffhanger, you have cleared this obstacle and you move on to the next connected obstacle. All of this is hands only. So you have the holy trap to use, sides only, no topping. You also have the ring to grab onto to go across the pipe to your finished platform. The plat finished platform is a stick platform. Do not spill over. Incidental will apply for our campus board, um, but no using the campus board to climb down to the finished platform. Obstacle number nine is feet only. You have bars only, and your finished platform is the booster block. No spillover. Obstacle 10. You have the same starting platform as the previous finish. You have all of the cannonballs, no straps going all the way through. You are allowed to use the last devil step out to the platform. Please disengage because obstacle number 11 is our devil steps. You're using that same platform to start. Hands only coming all the way down to the booster block. You are to stick this landing. Do not use any of the wood or posts to help you. Obstacle number 12 is all balanced. You have the top of the pipes only, the spinning log, and this platform is a spillover. Then obstacle 13, our finish. The red is your starting platform. It's hands only. You're to use the pegs to go up. The monster peg board will have a finish hold at the top left on the blue side. It'll be hanging, so you'll finish. It's not there in the video, but it will be there for the course. And you're to touch and reach. That would be your finish hold. Thank you for signing up, and good luck.